All right, all you unfinished scale helicopter syndrome sufferers. <laughs> so, we're, hey, Mo, what are you doing? Hey, so, <laughs> I'm going to show you all the shit that ain't done. <laughs> we're going to start. Uh, well, yeah, you can see all kinds of stuff up there that there is uh, a little pot and boom, a little MA-30. Yeah, there's that one. You may have seen that one before. There's another one that's sitting crashed over there. There's a Roban. No, it's not even Roban. It's RC Aerodyne. Uh, <laughs> it's an RC Aerodyne uh, V105. So, yeah. And then there's, then there's this thing. You guys remember this from about four years ago when the, uh, the tail blades or the tail gears decided to go? Okay, here's the 500. This one flies. This one actually flies. But here's the problem. See, if I start here, huh, there's no motor. I wanted a motor in there. Now, well, it probably won't get a motor either. Uh, continuing on, what else is up there on the top shelf? Oh, there's, uh, there, there's a Huey. There is an original 1 6 scale 429 that uh, I still plan on doing. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, the the crashed uh, 600 size. Uh, what what are the, it's not a UH 60. Well, it's a UH 60, but the presidentials were a little bit different. Um, uh, there's the crash B 105. There is the 60 size Raptor stuffed 407. It's in there. Somebody want to buy that? You can have it. Uh, there's a couple more up here. Uh, the stuff that Jackson's got. There's my box of LMH helicopters, plus a smattering of, of all kinds of stuff that's up there. Um, here is the little 450 size, uh, 212. That, that's done. Somebody can have that one. Uh, hit me up. I don't care. There's Jack's B0105, Jackson's, uh, A-Star. All of his other stuff, his his uh, whiskey. Uh, we've got uh, Paul's DHL. Uh, you know, it's it's done, but it's got some other stuff. Obviously, it's got the mechanics out of it. Jackson's <laughs> uh, uh, Airwolf that never got off the ground. Uh, there is his uh, Century Bell Forty Seven, which he learned that was his like his first real scale helicopter he did uh he's in the middle of repairing it but as you can see where it sits on the top shelf far far away from anything that's good um the junk box the junk planes uh his 3d plane which is you know in there um all my charging stations all my batteries there there's the mechanics for the nh90 there's Jackson's little 450 uh, 086, <laughs> little Cayuse. Um, well, all right, well, this is Jackson's table. You can tell because he's got a goddamn plane on it. But there is his uh, a 222 UT in there. Um, you over here, there's the t-shirt thing. Here's the llama, which is still not done. Even though I fly it all the time, it needs all its details finished up and all that kind of good stuff. Now that I got the, the good uh, scale exhaust on it, I got to do the rest of it. Um, let's see. <laughs> Here is the 1 6 scale 429 from RC Aerodyne. Uh, that one was supposed to get lights, a whole interior, uh, but I said to hell with it. It flies really good with a hook underneath it and I do bambi buckets work with it now. Uh, things it needed, uh, longer blades. I wanted to put uh, like 800s. Those were only 700 millimeter blades on there. Um, I needed a cascade, a real cascade tail system. There is the Scale Heli Palooza MD500E that was donated by Gary. Uh, there is Jackson's uh, RC Aerodyne Tiger that uh, tipped over. Um, there's the Monstrosity. It needs a new tail rotor slide pitch link thing here because it's it's screwed up it's not working um there is the 
Uh, that's the Bauman EC145. It needs windows. It needs the, uh, the details on the skids finished. It needs lights. Uh, it has an interior. It's not very pretty, but that's done. The only two helicopters that are really, I would say, done is the, uh, the Roban 412 from Lane County Fire, which I redid completely. Or I didn't redo it. I, I, you know, this is the paint job it comes with, but I redid the lettering. Got the skids. The only thing it really needs is a working belly tank. So that's <laughs> that's something. The other really done thing I have is the Roban Bell 407. Um, it's as done as I can make it. I don't think there's anything, unless I went through and, and detailed some of the, uh, did some weathering on it or something like that. It's got lights, uh, could use a nicer set of blades. The Roban blades are just crap. It's like, pfft, ah. But I would say those two right there are my most finished helicopters that I've got. So then you move over to uh, the 600, which is, you know, in tape mode because I refuse to give it up. But it's, it's taped together. You can see. It needs everything. It ha I do have a replacement for the... Uh, um, uh, uh, the whole thing. So I've got another kit here. I just, I gotta, I'm going to do some other stuff. There is the 500 size EC-145 that I finished up last year. Um, it has lights, so I should finish the lights. Everything else is pretty much, I need to do skids on it. I haven't done skids. Uh, there is the Sky Crane water tank. Uh, there is the Sky Crane uh, engine in the cells uh, top. That's all got to get done. Uh, there's there's some more parts for the 600 Notar that I've kept. We're gonna be doing that. And then uh, what else? Uh, there's there's some there's a smattering of stuff. There's a uh, Raptor. Uh, what is that? 119 Koala that uh, we're going to use as a prop to haul around with the crane maybe i don't know uh, there's some some more parts that are way up there uh stuff like that and then you have the grand poobah of shit that needs to be done the sky crane <laughs> so this is right now i'm working on I needed some more brackets that I found out. So I am trying to work on making my brackets like I did here. And of course, this one is right on a bend. So I have to make it bent. Of course I do. And, you know, I was doing working on this last night. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to get something done on it. Right? No. Because my oxygen tank regulator uh, decided to take a shit. And I can't regulate my oxygen. So now I've got stuff coming for that. Um Lots of things that need to be done. Never ending. And, you know, I've got kind of a list going up here of things that need to be done, but I don't keep really accurate records of that. So there is the unfinished scale helicopter syndrome survivor. And you just keep moving forward. And why? Because you just need to get out there and build something.